I don't know how I'm feeling about this lighting, but we're just gonna roll with it. So I'm back after like over three weeks, nearly four weeks of having a chaotic life and not filming a video, which is kind of a weird time lapse thing where, well, not really time lapse, time continuum thing where you guys haven't felt me being gone because I pre scheduled a lot of my videos except for this one, which I'm not sure if I'll film in the day before. This one's going live. I'm filming this on the Sunday and this going live on Monday, that's what I mean. And my camera's going lopsided again. I can't win. Anyway. <sighs> my life's been a mess past few weeks and I've been ill a few days and I haven't had the time to film any videos. So here we are today. I decided to post this Instagram story to my story yes and I am going to go through some of the questions you guys have had and hopefully I'll give you some answer answers answers hopefully I'll give you some answers and yeah and I'm feeling quite blue for the occasion no reason I just I don't know I was feeling the vibe and yeah so let's get into it okay so I've got the questions loaded up on my iPad so yeah um, we're gonna go through it. So, I don't know if there's a bit of lighting bouncing back from my iPad to my face, but we're gonna roll with it. Anyway, first question that came to me, came to me that was asked, well, I don't, I don't know how to do this. This is my first q and if you haven't already caught on. What three things do you want to achieve in the next five years? So, what three things do I want to achieve in the next five years? Uh, uh, uh. I've just finished my first year of doing my bachelor's in film production, so it'd be nice if I could have obtained my bachelor's by then, which I don't doubt that I will be able to. Sadly, I don't have any wood to knock on, so I've got this fake wood. Let's knock on that. And yeah, so hopefully that's one of the things. I would love to have moved to either London or the US, or have done both in the time of five years and ooh, a third thing um i don't have so much energy so all of a sudden um i don't know i guess maybe that whatever i have decided to accomplish big project wise that i have been successful ooh, or I finally get around to getting my driver's license, that'd be nice. Because I started the process five years ago and I still haven't got it. So it'd be nice to get to that point. It'd be really, real nice. But hey, who knows? So thank I've given you four. Four for the past three. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so cringy. I don't know why I'm being like this. Anyway. Next question, or comments, or I don't know, it's how short. Um, I don't exactly know what the person meant by that, so it could be like how short am I, how short my hair is. I'm on meet 69, which is about 5 or 6, or how short my hair is. I show straight in today, so it's about above my boobies, so yep. I'm not gonna get out to me measure it, not measure it, a tape measure. A ruler? I'm not going to get a ruler to measure how long my hair is. Sorry, that... Nah, I ain't doing that. <clears throat> so yeah. So, you have my height. You're welcome. I think that's a... I think 5 or 6 is about an average height. At least, I like to think that I'm average height because... Most people I know are about my height. But am I surrounded by short people then? Or tall people? I don't know, I don't know. My voice is, I'm losing my voice, fun. Two sort of comments that I got, they kind of feed into each other, is this one and this one. The first is, dye your hair. No please, no thank you, okay. Um, I think I will in the future because I really do enjoy dyeing my hair, like you've seen me on this channel dye my hair pink, like hot pink. You've seen me dye my hair, well bleach my hair. And then in the past I've even done my hair like all different colours. 
sometimes, somewhat accidentally. But I only had myself to blame, so there is that. Um, do I regret having any particular hair dye colours? Um, somewhat. I once dyed my hair black. Thankfully it was done professionally. However, I stripped that hair colour back with bleach and that damaged my hair. But the worst thing I did was bleach my hair at home with a £3 box dye bleach. Um, and I repeatedly did it and the maintenance of that, that was like every single month and just repeatedly doing it was like damaging my hair and so like the bum half of my hair now is like where the bleach portion of my hair is with a bit of brown down top and then here is just like natural brown roots and so yeah my hair is really really badly damaged now so I'm just growing it out and eventually I'll chop it off and so yeah that's why I've gone back to having brown hair again to just have less of a maintenance and get rid of it but I do love dyeing my hair so I think I will dye again in the future but I'm just trying to let my hair be a bit healthier right now so no me like two videos I'll be dyeing my hair again but hey hope you know here we go anyway ah a sweet one next to this one was are you all right um yeah I'm doing somewhat all right with everything that's going on a lot of anxiety I'm very high anxiety right now but I'm doing some more right. we're pulling through pushing through pulling through I don't know can you actually speak other languages um yeah I can I can speak English obviously I know two words in Welsh Diane which means very good I know one word in Portuguese obrigada but that doesn't mean that I can speak either Welsh or Portuguese. Just like it doesn't mean that I know how to speak Italian because I can say say buongiorno. Like it doesn't mean anything. Um, but I can actually speak like suficiente español. Yo hablo un poquito español. I can hold a conversation if I cross paths with a Spanish person in the street. Um, I can speak fluently French because I have lived in that country for 17 years. Alors oui, je peux parler couramment français. Can I say anything in any other language? I don't think I can say anything in any other language. I was taught a bit of Greek a few years ago when I went to Greece, but I sort of forgot it by now. <laughs> it didn't mark my brain. Um, yeah, I don't think I know any other language. Um... I oh, know, ich bin, which means I am in German. That's the true. I think the only bit of German I know. Oh, have I forgotten it? Oh yeah. What's your wait? What's your f what's your process for editing your videos? Done in segments or all in one session? Um, what's your process for editing a video? Done in segments. I'd say a bit of both. Like. It depends on the video really, but some videos where I'm like in multiple locations and I have like 45 minutes to 3 hours of footage, I can easily just like jump between the clips in the different locations and edit them little bit by little bit because it just makes it easier because I, you might get fine from how chaotic my videos are but I get bored quite easily so yeah, so I'll jump all over the place, however I do love editing them in like one sit into one afternoon, one evening, one day. Um, it's only if I've like started editing it at 8 pm at night and it's taking me into like 2 am, then I'm like, you know what, I might as well cut off here for the night and finish it in the morning. But normally I do it all in one sitting. What is your favourite thing to do off camera? My favourite thing to do off camera is. Oh, wait, is it one or multiple? Think plural, uh, singular, <laughs> singular. Um, honestly, I think it's got to be like catching up and just going on an adventure with your friends and just, you know, just soaking up that energy that you have with like your good friends. And oh, that's got to be like my favorite thing to do off camera. Just basically, what I do on camera, just without a camera there. 
Um, and the, and that one friend that barely ever takes photos or videos when they're out and about. Because, firstly, I'm bad at taking like, group selfies and things like that. But also, because I'm just so used to just living in the moment and not thinking about it. Which sometimes makes it hard when I want to film, because I don't always think about it. Like, yeah. Like, there was going to be, like, a video the other night that was, like, like a day in... What was the series called? A Summer Day in My Life video with Hannah. And... I filmed probably one minute of footage, and that was it, because I totally forgot to film anything else. And the night didn't go to plan, so... Nothing else was filmed, so I was like, you know what, scrap that, and that's how we ended up doing this. I don't even know if I'm speaking loud enough for the camera to pick up. <laughs> do you have a favourite down? Do you have a favourite dino boy? I don't know why I was going to say that, Downton boy. Whatever. Um, I only know one dino boy, and that is my mate. Who asked this question? So, no. You are the only one, so I guess. By default, it makes you the favourite one, but are you really winning if you're the only one in the competition? Yeah, no. I'll leave that for people in the comments to decide whether just because you are the only dino person means that you are the favourite. Um, have you got games on your phone? So I actually had to, because I saw all these questions on my phone before starting this video. Um, I actually looked through my phone and all of the games that I had on my phone have gone to my iCloud because I have not opened my games in so long. Um, I don't think I've opened any games on my phone since like March because that just gets in the way, you know. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, that is it for today's video. That is all the questions I got because nobody likes me. <laughs> But, yeah. Also, if you didn't get it already, like, my humour is self-deprecation. Like, I take the mickey out of myself 24-7. So when I say nobody likes me, I don't mean in a, like, please pity me, nobody likes me, I don't care. Literally. Anyway, just thought I'd add that there because people don't really know me that well, so I don't want them to make assumptions about me. Anyway, so that is it for today's video. If you want me to do another one of these, I don't know. High energy but weird Q and A's. Again, just like comment down below. You can check me out on Twitter. You can check me out on Instagram. I recently rediscovered Twitter. Um, I'm so used to just seeing other people's tweets and just responding to them and liking them and retweeting them that I forgot that I could tweet myself. So um, yeah, I rediscovered that recently. Not the best of it, but hey ho. Um, why why do I keep saying hey ho? Do I think I'm like one of the 12 dwarfs? 7 dwarfs? I can't even check my phone right now because my phone's lighting me up. Okay. Um, um, yeah. So if you want me to do one of these again, just comment down below. And I will see you next week with another video since I seem to be on a roll. Bye!